Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys remember, a few months ago, I actually was covering the whole X11 slash the X Libra Fort. And there was a guy by the name Enrico that actually got kicked out of the project. And he was telling everyone that Free Desktop was actually purposely trying to kill X11 or Sork, the display server. So, I... And I ended up in that video actually exposing and having free desktop actually admit themselves that they work hard to actually kill Sword or X11 so they could push in Wayland. So someone in my comments said that they actually game on their X Libra. So I thought to myself, hey, when do I record Majority? Can you game on X Libra? It's a viable. Let's go. Let's find. Let's come and see. Let's find out. Let's fuck around and find out. And yes, I will be comparing it to Wayland, so stick around. So, first thing is first, installation process. Okay, okay, I'll admit the song was a little bit too dramatic. I just I could just see Light Yagami writing in the Death No S. He fucking eats a potato ship in the other hand or whatever. You guys remember that scene? Okay, so our first error that we got was um we were pretty much getting where it was trying to pull the compositor from Wayland. So I actually had to go back into the session and actually install Quinn. For some reason, there wasn't the X11 compositor in it so i had to install it and then make it pull the x section or the x libra section i guess but since it's a fork it work and i got it to actually work but i am getting this really weird error and it's only in my terminal for some reason i must just ignore it for now the error that i was getting in my terminal actually went away i have noticed that my windows in my terminal it shows up like gnome for some reason, but <laughs> it's okay. It's not gonna bother me too much. It's like the window corners for the resizing and stuff, but it only does it for the ghosty terminal. Okay, so we will be testing. I'm going to skip the native Linux games because those should run normally, I'm assuming. I'm gonna go with that. If you guys think something different, let me know. So these are the games we're going to test. I'm gonna test like mainstream games that are on demand, etc. So we're gonna be testing Cyberpunk, Okay, so let, let me check. We're going to be testing, okay, Cyberpunk, uh, Clairovsko Expedition, uh, I can't speak, uh, Clairovsko Expedition 33, Halo Infinite, and where's my other game? 
Oh, here it is. And Stellar Blade, because Jiggle's physics matter, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. So at first, I'm going to run the game um, just like Ex Libra, and I'm going to see if there's some performance issue, play a little bit, see if there's any stutters, any performance issue, how much is the frames. And then after that, I'm going to switch into Wayland, and I'm going to compare them side by side and label them and see how the performance, which one performs better, etc. So that's the order we're going to do. For our first game, we're going to go with Cyberpunk. Actually, I have a change of mind. I'm going to start with Halo Infinite, then we go into Stellar Blade, Expedition 33, and then leave Cyberpunk for last, because Cyberpunk is the biggest game I have right now, and that's going to take a while to download. So let's get started with Halo Infinite, because this game is no this game is notorious for having shader stutters and compositor overhead. So I would like to actually test this one, because this one has to be way more curious, because this game sometimes, I mean, it performs good on Wayland after the tweaks I did. But let's see how I perform at X Lever. I'm going to undo those tweaks on Wayland and let it perform how it naturally does. Okay, before we get further into this, I got to let you know that I have an RTX 5090, the latest one. And obviously, I the only driver supported by Blackwell, although NVIDIA opened the games. So as you can see right here, um, I did some gameplay and it, X Lever performance was actually unpleasant with this game there was a lot of stuttering it was just the frames were pretty low like i remember playing this section and wayland and wayland seems to be way smoother this is really weird because coming into this experiment i could have swore i was going to get way better performance um you know i at X Libra, but I guess I was wrong. So, but let's test that out. Let's see if that's actually fact. Okay, so this is what I got from both. So, basically, um, on the X side, I, I, on the X Libra side, I was getting from fifty-five to sixty frames on average. From um, Wayland, I was getting from seventy-one to ninety. So, Wayland actually beats X Libra in gaming performance, and it's faster by eighteen to a sixty-four percent more frames per second so yeah and also there's no stutters on wayland on wayland it's butter smooth i chose the campaign because it's more intensive usually if i was to play a multiplayer that's a different story but that's not what we're doing we're trying to really push it to see which one outperforms so in this game i gotta give it to wayland I i'm really rooting for x but oh shit Come on, man. Now, for our next competitor, we're going to go with Stellar Blade. Okay, now right here, um, the X Libre, I'm actually getting 60 frames per second, while Wayland is giving me 140 frames per second. 144. So that's 140%... Wait, let me... Yeah, 140% more frames per second on Wayland. So once again, Wayland wins this fight. It was stuttering X Libra this time, but not as much as the previous game that we actually tested. So for some reason, it's cap. It's whatever. Okay, so on X Libra, I got around from 53 to 63 frames per second on average, while on Wayland, I got 133 frames to 149. So let's do the math. So Wayland performs a hundred high end comparison. So it performs a hundred and eighty one percent. Well, a hundred and eleven to a hundred and eighty one percent more performance, and on average, a hundred and forty three percent more frames per second on the Wayland side. Okay, so let's answer the question that we all came here to get answers to. It's X Libre viable to game. Well. Depends. I don't know on the AMD side, but at least on NVIDIA, no. That's a big no. I ran the test for myself. I'm not even going to try Cyberpunk because Cyberpunk is probably going to perform even worse. And I tried these games, and what I saw is that Wayland, when it comes to like graphical rendering and gaming, basically, Wayland, as much as I don't like to admit it, it defeats Ex Libra. I don't, Ex Libra is still in development, so we'll have to see and give it time to see if I actually could beat it. But for, so far from what I'm seeing is that Ex, if Ex Libra is not meant for gaming, 
the whole point, the whole, my final verdict on all this, what I'm getting from this is that Ex Libra was actually meant to be made for people that depend on tools and apps that only work on X11. And since Wayland, the fucking free desktop, doesn't want to support this, they made Ex Libra as a fork to actually help those people and not leave those people in the dust. It's not meant for gaming. And if you're telling yourself that it actually works good on um nvidia and you're using this for gaming and you keep telling yourself that you're actually lying to yourself because i read the test and the results speak for themselves this is not meant for gaming it's mostly meant for people that actually have a profession or depend on um you know the x11 display server not for gaming okay i was really hoping that it it was the case that X Libra was going to be better. I was really rooting for X Libra, but it's not meant for this. Um, I would like to know if one of you guys actually have tested this on an AMD GPG to see if it's different or it performs better. Um, the Wayland side, I was basically having a lot of stutter, really bad performance. Some um, games got capped at certain frames for some freaking reason. While on Wayland, everything was butter smooth, no stuttering, lower latency. X Libra had like a lot of input delay actually. I'll press the key, it'll be way after. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found this video helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.